the reason I switched is because I kept getting injured. Um, I, I had some good times, I had some good results, but nothing to what I expected. Um, I never made any Olympics. I got injured before every major competition, and I just had so much unfinished business. I still wanted to be an athlete, but I just couldn't go through all the injuries. So that's when I jumped on a bike. Absolutely loved the bike. Um, thought about going to cycling, but <laughs> but no, I still love running as well. So this is the way I could put them both together. With running, it's a more higher intensity. Um, I think that's why I got so many injuries. Um, I was on the track a lot. I was running a lot faster. Um, with this, it's it's more just it's a tough sport. You, you just got to do the miles. Um, I spend a lot of my time on the bike now. I, I try and get a lot of my k's in on the bike, I, and I run a lot less, um, to, so I don't get injured. Um, so yeah, just I think running, yeah, higher intensity, faster. This is just yeah, tough and real endurance sport. You know, when I look at your results, uh, it's quite impressive at such a, a short period of time. This year you've won 370.3 races, uh, and I look at two of those races, actually, ladies and gentlemen, at course records, and then the third was a run course record. I think it was around about 116 in that uh, half marathon. Um, enjoying, you know, success over a, such a short period in your career, did you expect that? Hard on the bike for probably a year before I started tries, so I, I knew that was kind of up there, and the running was definitely up there. Um, the swim is what I thought would really let me down. Um, at the start, my first race, I came out about five minutes behind in the swim, so I've really had to work on that. Um, but I guess with such a long race, such a long bike and run, you know, you've got time to make it up.